Uh, and tonight for our Black History Spotlight, we have a very special guest. Uh, her name is uh, Chastity Bell. Um, she is a graduate of um, Kentucky State University. And tonight we're going to be talking about why um, HBCUs matter and why students who, um, who have a desire to um, attend college should consider attending an HBCU. Uh, there are over 106 HBCUs, so I think, um, you know, students have a, a wide variety of selections to choose from. Um, um, so, can, can you talk about, uh, uh, real quick, um, um, your experience at uh, Kentucky State and how it molded you into the person you are today? Absolutely. So, well, first and foremost, uh, the Kentucky State University was probably the best decision I made in my life. Right. Um, so a little history about the university because I was a student ambassador when I was in at Kentucky State. Um, Kentucky State University was founded in 1886 and it was founded as a land-grant institution. So, Stick that history. <laughs> <laughs> For any of my cast members on here. Um, so, yeah, and so, you know, being such a close-knit school on the hill, it wasn't even supposed to be been a school. They thought giving... Um, given our president, John Henry Jackson, at the time, that piece of land was saying, you know, they're not going to be able to build anything on this hill. You know, it's hard to build on a hill. But, oh, what happened after they built that school on that hill? And it was one building. We had one building when we first opened up. And it, now we are flourishing. I'm not sure. I know we just expanded our campus recently, but we have expanded. We have a, a campus across the street from where we originally were uh, founded. So, I mean, it was an awesome experience. So, that's it. To say that, you know, um, as a freshman, I got into the student ambassador organization, which is we work underneath the admissions office. And so we gave tours to prospective students. And so that was an awesome experience doing that. Um, also, in undergrad, I ran for Miss Kentucky State University against one of my closest friends. But it was <laughs> the best experience I ever experienced because it, it, it birthed a newfound sisterhood between my, my royal sisters and my yeah. beyond. And I'm, that that relationship is is amazing, um, and it was founded because of Kentucky State University. So I had an awesome experience at Kentucky State. I'm not gonna say that I didn't. I know I'm supposed to be really. We also need to highlight the fun side of it. Yeah. I mean, have you ever experienced like going to your family reunion and the barbecue was always super lit? And you always enjoyed it. That's yeah. that's how it felt going to school every day at Kentucky State University. And I I think every black or uh, historically black college university student who've been to a school can say the same at their university. It's a family. We might have our small rivalry, rivalries or anything and stuff, but ultimately it was like a big family reunion and every time we separate for breaks, it was like, oh my God, I can't wait to get back home. And ultimately my home is Indianapolis, but my home is actually in Frankfort, Kentucky. Okay. Um, Tara City, can you talk about um, just your transition uh, f from a HBCU until into your professional uh, working life, um, how did how did Kentucky State uh, prepare you for uh, the real world? Um, that's a really good question. Um, so, from the first day in freshman week, um, being a freshman at Kentucky State University, they prepared us for what was to come after graduation. So, you know, making sure that we understood being on time important, like. <laughs> You know, being on time was actually being late and being um, being early is being on time. So that was something that was... Were you at CLB? Huh? Were you at CLB? I wasn't, but I had a lot of... On time every time except when a little ahead of time because of better time. Yeah, that, that's that Washington Township stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of friends. My sister was part of CLB, but uh, yes, absolutely. So, that, so maybe someone from Indianapolis... You know, introduced that to somebody at Kentucky State University who introduced it to me. Not sure, but it definitely was important for me. And they always stressed um, professionalism from day one, um, being a freshman on up until being a senior in college into my later classes that um, actually molded me into the woman I am today, to be quite honest. My degree is not in education, but somehow, some way, God made, made a way for me to be in education. And everything that I took, every class that I took in undergrad for, Mass communications actually is, I'm using it now in education. So it, it actually kind of made made it work. But, um, I mean, 
I think any college could say that they prepare their children or prepare their students to be a professional because that's the goal. I mean, it's a business, but it's it's a difference when the professors, your advisors are like feeding into you. So I continue, I actually keep in touch with my advisor from college um, and he still teaches at Kentucky State University. And so it, it's just a little tidbit mentoring that they give you to prepare you to be, you know, you don't know everything. You know, we didn't, the book didn't teach me everything that I learned today but right. sorry, the relationships that I built with my professors and my advisor and you know my classmates and my peers those were the lessons that kind of taught me and molded me into being a professional woman today in my career I'm the Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated um talk about I am um, um founded in what 1908 <laughs> absolutely the first thing the, 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 <laughs> the first thing the uh, fight yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, can you talk about um, your 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 chapter in Kokomo um, and what you're doing to um, to promote um, HBCUs and helping students? Absolutely. So, yes, I am a part of Omicron Phi Omega um, chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Um, we are um, in Kokomo, Indiana. Um, this is a smaller chapter, and so we actually are part of, well, I'm a part of a committee that we push our total agenda is to expose children to historically black colleges and universities. Um, and so in that, you know, we have little small things underneath it, but our biggest goal is just the exposure and to also give them um, little tidbits that if they're not getting, like, how to apply for a college and, like, what the, the 401, just what is an HBC? Where are HBCUs? Well, I would you know, so those are some of the things that we are doing with our committee, um, the historically black college university. Yeah. 